doing my research and and they were talking about how like they measure the tops of volcanoes to see if they swell or they fill up with gas to see if their activity level so activity level so i was wondering you know like what volcanoes are in the vicinity of where these earthquakes are happening right so i came across the picture on the right you see is the long valley caldera right which is basically like a giant volcano that like the top popped off and there's two little tiny mountains to the left and right of it which are not tiny at all which is glass mountain and mammoth mountain but i started looking at it so i wanted to know like how deep are these like do they tell you how deep so then you click on it and the information tells you like the depth right like you know 6.43 mi 6 4.3 miles and then the one that we had the other day yesterday was 6.7 miles right so i was like okay what's that deep right so these are you know could these be tectonic plates or whatever the deal is and this is the one that happened the other day and so i wanted to get some more information i was you know it's piqued my curiosity right obviously i did the other video about maybe this was military testing but this can also be volcanic activity i haven't seen anything on the internet about this but i started looking at the long valley caldera and then if you look at it you know there's a lot of information on here it hasn't erupted since 14 to 15,000 BC so it's been a long long time right and so one thing that's interesting about it is that you look at the proximity the proximity is like 180 miles dude this is not that far away so is this the path of the molten is this based on the activity that we're seeing here that you know this is where the epicenter was but you know it's obviously a surrounding area then if you look at the way the Long Valley Caldera is, as you look at it, the depth of it is five to 10 to 15 kilometers. This is kind of in the wheelhouse or the area of where these, the, the depth of these seismic activities, right? And just look how huge it is, dude. Mammoth Mountain, Glass Mountain. I had pictures of these earlier. They were giant, giant mountains, dude. And they're small compared to this whole thing that looks like the magma according to this illustration which could be off obviously right could be to scale not to scale but look at it it's like a old like there's so much here that can explode and this is around the depth that we're seeing there so i started looking at can you know can you find do they publicly show the because what happens is that when when these things starts getting when this when the when, when this starts getting active the gas and stuff starts increasing the pressure so this stuff starts going up and down right so i was looking for any kind of public uh display or public information regarding if you can see when that data is being transmitted and there's nothing there that you can see right so it's an interesting thing to see if there's any activity there right and i haven't seen no postings about maybe volcanic volcanic activity right and so that could possibly be it there's a lot of activity then you also do, I also did some research about like, you know, how does it work when a volcano is getting ready to explode or have an eruption of some kind? It doesn't have to be giant, but something like that, right? And it talks about having like a bunch of earthquakes, a bunch of earthquakes of four or five and greater. And so yesterday, you know, the 5.4 is the latest one, but there's been earthquakes, you know, there's been a ton. There's another 4.1 that happened uh, later on in, in, in today. And, you know, that's all for today. However, yesterday, there was a bunch of fours. So it's like there's a lot of activity. It'd be interesting if somebody would talk about, see, there was a four, a four, a four. There's three 4.0s in the course of 16 to say an hour and a half and two hours, right? So that's, you know, that's a, that's a, a lot. Another one, you know, and so it'd be interesting to see if there was any activity. So this could be volcanic activity um you know it doesn't rule out this whole military thing that kind of jumped it all off but what jumped it off was that 4.0 that happened here and then there's been a whole series of of, of 4.0 or greater magnitude earthquakes so and the proximity of this is 170 miles i don't know if that's enough to to kind of you know be connected to that but this is a giant piece of magma and then if you look at the map it seems almost like this is where the path is, right because this is like the fault line and so four to six miles is where like the faults kind of rub together the tectonic plates or whatever. So some of this information may not be 100% accurate, but it's an interesting take on what we've been happening the last couple of days. It would be interesting if I can see some information about that. Um, 
So anyways, that's my take on